Good day. This week we are looking at the reasons why the new covenant is a better covenant established on better promises. The third reason why it's better is, is it is established and ratified in blood. Jesus actually shed his blood. The Bible talks about it in Hebrews chapter 8 and Hebrews chapter 9 that this is not that like the blood of bulls and goats where people had to come continually offering sacrifices but that Jesus Christ has entered into heaven with his blood once and for all. And then because of that, Jesus himself comes and writes his laws upon our hearts so that we can actually know God for ourselves. You know, the Bible says that we will know God as Yahweh. And Yahweh is how God introduced himself in the Old Testament as an introduction to covenant names. And many of those names we know that he's our shepherd, our righteousness, our victory, our banner, our peace, our love. And so God would always introduce himself as Yahweh Jireh or Yahweh my provider. And Yahweh means the eternal self-existent God. That God himself under the new covenant is no longer just going to come and live with you, but he's going to come and live in you. And part of the benefits of the new covenant is that Yahweh himself comes and dwells in you as a covenant keeping God. That whatever God has promised in his word, he's saying that my covenant to you, because I'm a covenant keeping God, you are now qualified to experience for yourself because I'm going to come and live in you. I'm not just going to be with you, but I'm going to be in you. I'm going to be your God. I'm going to be your father. And Jesus made this possible because his blood was shed. Now, without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. The Bible says we are saved from wrath because of his blood. The Bible says because of his blood, we have peace with God. So this covenant was established because Jesus actually shed his blood and he appeared in the throne room, the Bible says, for us. So he, he went there on behalf of all of us, on behalf of all of mankind, so that God could come and be in us as a covenant-keeping God. And that brings comfort to my own heart, knowing that God himself has made a covenant with his son, Jesus Christ, that will never ever be broken. And I can draw on this covenant-keeping God that if he's made a promise in his word, he is bound to his word to be a covenant-keeping God. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.